that would be a strange language. So when this house was built, um, they put up this compressed paper uh, molding everywhere, which was fine for a little while, but anytime you're moving furniture around or doing anything, uh, it's really easily damaged. So in this hallway, we're replacing it all with uh, solid wood. And for a, um, economical, um, an economical option, we're using uh, furring strips, one by three furring strips, which are very cheap to buy. We've sanded them down. Uh, primed them and painted them, and we're going to tear off all these old compressed paper moldings and put up um, put up the solid wood ones. This is the uh, stairway to our attic. We have this uh, insulated blanket cover on here. We've had it up here for years, but at one point we washed it because uh, it got all dingy and it shrunk. So it doesn't even fit all the way across the door. You can see the Velcro on the edge here. It doesn't fit. So I'm gonna take this down um, and we're gonna redo the whole, we're gonna recover this door and the trim around it. We're gonna. Uh, make it look nicer and we're going to get a we have insulation that goes on the top side of the door the top side of the stairs in the attic we're going to invest in one of those that will do much better and look better than this uh, blanket here so that's our next project
So this um, dried floral arrangement was from Home Goods a while ago, and I absolutely love it. If I wish you could smell this smell of eucalyptus, it's so good. So I have that in the hallway here with that pottery vase that I had found at a flea market weeks ago. This plush pumpkin that I had found weeks ago from Marshalls. It's very soft. I wish you could feel it. It's so plush and soft. And this candle is one I was talking about I had received at one time from someone. I love it. It's lavender and sage. It's really nice. But I feel like I would like more of a fall scented candle. Um, Amazon sells some great ones. So there's one called Cozy Season I'm hoping to get because it has a nice amber jar that's perfect for fall and it has more of a fall scent. But for now, this is going to do until I can do that. And then we have the basket filled with Dollar Tree pumpkins. And all I did was paint them because they come orange and I didn't like it. And I kind of done it roughly and I like that crafty look. And like I said, the sign that I had earlier, and this is the finished result. These are the finished trim around the room and I love that even though they're furring strips so they're a little rougher it gives it that rustic feel I'm okay with that because it's a lot cheaper and it still looks great and it's better that it's wood now and it's not unfortunately not that papery thin that they had put on in the house when it was built now it's a nice sturdy wood and then here's the finished attic door with the Luan I love it I'm walking backwards, folks, so don't mind my crazy walking here. It might be a little bit crickety, the camera, sorry. But there we go, that's the finished room. Very happy with it. The project in and of itself only took a couple days. Great help from Jacob, he did a wonderful job. And Paul was standing by with some advice. Um, he can't actually do anything, so Jacob was doing the majority of that, and I was doing more of the finishing. but. Um, Came out great. Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome. So a very quick project. Mm -hmm. It went well, I think. Don't yes. you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it went actually for about two days, and I think it went smoothly. Um, and I say that because Jacob did all the hard work. Um, hence the exhaust exhausted look on his face. <laughs> He's tired. Um, He's definitely been stepping up and pulling his weight. He's just been great. He's been really awesome, and we're so grateful. We had Paul on the sidelines who was giving us some advice and kind of little tips here and there and helping us along the way vocally, and we really appreciate it. But we certainly have a newer appreciation for what he does, don't we? Uh, we put some trim around the attic door and the uh, Luan plywood uh, covering over the door, uh, nailed that in. Um, before that we had put some trim around, uh, some new trim with the furring strips around the bottom and around the baseboard and door, door trim. That's what you call that. <laughs> so around the room. Around the around hall. Around the room. Just <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. There's tons of it. Yeah and of course we um, you know, decorated at the end. Um, yes. I, I decorated for fall. I'm very reluctant because I really never like saying goodbye to summer, but it was time to maybe, while we were already in that room, I've decided I'm going to do it room at a time. Easier than all in one day because the whole home, especially from summer to fall, for some reason that transition, it completely takes over the household and we go from very easy, breezy, smooth, you know, calming um, decor, very much more minimalistic and beachy to like fall with color and a little bit more clutter, which I've now tapered down from. So I'm doing it a room at a time to see what we have for decor, but also um, so it's not so overwhelming. So I'm going to deep clean a room, empty it completely, and then redecorate it. Um, it'll be a little more difficult than having everything empty and taking all the totes out and looking what we have. But the great thing is I can move things around. It's just decor. But this gives me a chance to kind of take my time take weeks to de decorate and relax a little bit because it is a very tiring job for a couple of days. So, room by room, let's see how it works out. Mm -hmm. But I think the room turned out great. Jake did an awesome, awesome job. 
Um, Paul was there for great advice. Um, boy, do we miss him doing some of the hard work, huh? But, yeah, it was, it was good. It was a good, quick project for a couple of days. So uh, not much changed cosmetically except that we changed the trim. And the thing about furring strips is it's very inexpensive. Um, it's real wood, a little rougher, but I think it gives that cottagey feel here in our home. Maybe in a fancier home, a million dollar home, it wouldn't maybe look so great. Um, and they're gonna have maybe very specific materials, but in our home, I think it works well. It gives that, that whole cottagey, rustic feel. Um, but it is much rougher. If you look real close, it is much rougher. Um, if you take the time to sand it down and maybe use a high quality paint, it probably would give you that feel. But at that point, you might as well just go with a regular piece of trim. But for our home, for the budget, it works out really, really well. But everything else stayed the same, um, except for that attic door. Um, I didn't like it before. It was this quilted blanket. Um, it was getting kind of dingy looking. It, was, it had shrunk because we had washed it before. It just wasn't working for us anymore. So we're going to put some insulation on the inside of the door. We've got the trim and the door, like Jacob said. We've got the trim, like Jacob said, with the furring strips around the baseboard and everywhere else. And just a little bit of cosmetic changes from summer decorating to fall decorating. I'm so reluctant, but it's looking great. And I have a few changes I want to make. Hopefully before the video goes up, there's a few things I want to change and hope that I can find at Home Goods or wherever. Um, but that's it. Jake did an awesome job. Paul, Thank thanks for you. your advice. Thank you. Um, and it was fun. It was two days and it was a quick project. So if you have a smaller hallway and you have some free materials left over from projects, like we always have Luan left over, it worked out perfectly with the sizes. The furring strips, if you don't have a huge budget, is a great option if you don't mind that rustic feel. And boom. So our weekly budget was only $55. Uh, we spent that all on the furring strips, mm -hmm. um, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we already had the paint, we had the handle that we put on the Yep, and we used the spray door. paint that we had. Spray paint that we already had. We already had the decor. The Luan. Uh, the the Luan. Luan. Right, so yeah, the leftover Luan. Yeah, yeah, fifty-five dollars, not bad. It's not bad That's at all, nice. and because it changed up the whole room with just that trim, it really and the door, it was actually a really great budget. Um, and the only thing is, it, the budget may change before this video comes out um, because I'm still looking for a round mirror, and um, you know whatever I can find with my last of my uh, home goods slash Marshalls uh, gift cards. So um, I love those gift cards. When they run out, I go, oh man, I've got to actually pay for these items. <laughs> so it's, those gifts are great, let me tell you. But anyway, so I have a little bit left on that that I'd really like to use and see if I can find a mirror. But with the exception of that, and that will be with a gift card. So really it was just $55. So if I can find that mirror. Not bad. Yeah. If you like this sort of video and you like um, or more of our tutorial videos, um, please like. Um, with a thumbs up and the like button and uh, please subscribe um, you know click that little bell so that you get notified about all our upcoming videos if you'd like that would be really cool Thank that you would be much. really cool yeah for all our OG fans thanks for supporting us all this time we really do appreciate it and for all the new people who've come on to join us Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. We're really appreciated. Appreciative. We're very appreciative. We feel appreciated. We do feel appreciated. Thanks for watching. See ya.